Do you want to know some prices in and around a variety of neighborhoods in Toronto? I'll get to it in a second. I'm Sandra Inamato, and if you've been looking into the Toronto real estate market or thinking of buying, selling, downsizing in and around Toronto and the GTA, then this channel is for you. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. And if you're looking to start your real estate journey or just want to learn something, go ahead and click the link in the description below and let's start a conversation. Now, let's get started. If you're looking for specifically two-story detached, I'll give you some numbers for general areas. The Toronto region, we're looking at a benchmark price for a two-story detached house of 1.5. In, through, in Toronto, however, it's 1.929. In the C1 area, we have a benchmark price of 1,667,700, with the highest price coming in at 1,885,200 in Trinity Bellwoods. In C2, we have a benchmark of 2,807,300, with the high price being in Casaloma area of 3,521,400. In C3, the benchmark is 2,111,200, with the highest price coming from Forest Hill South at 3,852,500. In C4, the benchmark price is 2,818,200 with the high price being in Bedford Park, Nortown at $3,204,000. In C6, we have a benchmark price of 2.2, with the high coming from Clanton Park at $2,336,700. In C7, there's a benchmark price of $2,310,300, with the highest being Willowdale West at 2.5. C8 comes in at 2.481, with the high coming in from Cabbage Town, South St. James Town, at 2,609,900. C9, or Rosedale Moore Park, is $4,195,000. In C10, we have a benchmark of 2,326,700, and that's coming from Mount Pleasant East as the high. In C11, Leaside, there's just one neighborhood in this category, and it's 2.776. In C12, we have a benchmark of 4,036,000 with the high coming in from Bridal Path, Sunnybrook, York Mills at 4,598,200. C13, the benchmark is 2,674,400 with Banbury Dawn Mills coming in at 2.871. In C14, we have 2.712,900, and the highs coming in from Willowdale East at 2.8. In C15, we have a benchmark price of 2,200,300, with the high coming in from Henry Farm at 2,354,300. E1 is coming in at 1,591,000, with the high coming from North Riverdale at 2.2. In E2, we have a benchmark of 1,792,000 with the high from the beach at 2,125,300. E3 is showing a benchmark of 1.5, the high coming from the Plater Estates Danforth area at 2,462,900. E4 benchmark is 1,111,900 with Claire Lee Birchmount having the high at 1,167,700. We've got E5 coming in at 1.4 with the high coming from Tam O'Shanter Sullivan at 1.5. E6 is showing a benchmark of 1.4 and the high there is coming from Birchcliff Cliffside at 1,521,600. E7 benchmark 1.263, the high coming from Agent Court South Malvern West at 1.4, just under. E8. 1,441,900, and the high there is coming from Scarborough Village at 1,865,300. E9 is 1,133,400. The high there is coming from Woburn at 1,154,900. 
E10, we're looking at a benchmark of 1,372,900 with the high coming from Highland Creek at 1.462. E11 comes in at 1,133,900 and the high coming from the Rouge E11 at 1,236,600. In the West, we have W1 at 1.9 with High Park Swansea coming in at 2,001,700. W2 benchmark is 1,689,600. The high there is coming in from High Park North at 1,962,500. In W3, we have a benchmark of just over a million and that's been driven by the high at Corso Italia Davenport at 1,178,900. W4 benchmark is 1.245, and that price is being elevated by Yorkdale Glen Park at 2,054,600. W5 has a benchmark of 1,347,300, the high being driven by Downsview Roading CFB at 1,448,000. W6 has a benchmark of 1,331,200, with that being driven up mostly by Long Branch at 1,391,100. And W7, which is Stonegate Queensway all alone, 1,716,500. W8 has a benchmark of 2,207,900, and that being driven up by Edenbridge Humber Valley with the highest price at 2,643,300. W9's benchmark is 1,645,500, and that's from Humber Heights at 1,670,400. W10 benchmark price is just over a million at $1,200. And the high area there is Thistletown, Beaumont Heights at 1,137,000. 200. If I didn't see the neighborhood that you're looking for, please let me know. I'd be happy to let you know what the benchmark price is for the type of product you're looking for. What are some of the things you'd like to know about the Toronto real estate market? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.